Good afternoon. Technically, it's 12 o'clock straight. So Atlanta didn't make it in front of that. But it's all right. I'm also known as Judy Allen, San Antonio, Texas. Today, instead of making an alternative, I'm going to go ahead and open the box for you for the November kit. Because it's from the North Pole. It fits right into the season of everything we're doing. And it's supposed to be very gorgeous and beautiful and glitzy. And don't forget, we will be live on Sunday with Zoe and Nana stamping and giving away prizes as well at 4 o'clock p.m. So, with that, let's get down the hands and let's see what is in this box, right? Everybody's out shopping. It's festive time. Shopping time. Hustle time. So, here is the box. Let's see what we've got in here this month. Ooh. We have Cherry Cobbler, which is a very fun color for Christmas. And we have all kinds of Christmas stuff here. Look at these stamps, right? All right. And we also have some bags that we can go along with this. And you see how it coordinated with last month's paper pumpkin. Ooh, and that shows you what next month says. And we actually have some coordinating envelopes and cards to go with that too. All right, look at the green here. They always do such an awesome, amazing job with tissue paper. Oh yeah. Let me go ahead and take this out. I don't have plans to do anything with tissue paper this month that I know of at this time. And here it goes. This is what's in the kit. On your very first one, you will get a block. So this one doesn't have a block because this is not my very first one. And we're just going to take some scissors here. Get this open. And you know what I like to do? I really like to sort these out. So we know it's all in there, right? We already know it's in there, but it's sorted so it's ready to go. So we have our dimensionals, which we always have plenty of. And these are already die cut. So somebody was asking the other day, if you come in here and you punch this out, it's already die cut. They were asking, because when we do retreats, we do all the die cutting. But these are already die cut for you when it comes in the box. And I'm just sorting them out. Let's see if you can see here. I'm just going to sort them out like right here. Now, I make alternatives, right, every Friday. So you know that even though I sort these out, I'm not necessarily going to use them this way. I'm just seeing. Ooh, it looks like we got four of each. So I'm just going to poke them all out at once because I can. I don't know if I'd use the frames for anything, but I'm going to save it, right? I tell you always to save things because you never know what you might want to do as an alternative or get inspired. So looky there. Ooh, and then here comes some more. Now, again, these are already die cut for you. Look, we have four of those because we have four of each tags. Now, I didn't open the instructions to see what was going to go with what. So, let's see what those instructions are. So, what I like is the instructions tell you everything. So, I know that these big circles are, wow, we have two options. We're going to have one with a candy cane looking paper and the other one that is going to go looks like with this paper maybe right there see so when you open them up oh there you go there it answers my question all right so see so you can see the different things they have here this shows you what it's going to be with each card that's what i love about this and it also gives you alternatives and everything that comes in the kit so see i am just punching right now and i'm going to sort of sort them by card okay so as i set this aside so you can see it maybe I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch out these little green things. Oh, it's actually goes to the top here. So it's actually going to go with, it shows a white tag. So I haven't got to a white tag yet. That's a white tag. Let's keep on going then. Oh, wow. So this is a pretty cool. So these two tags actually go together to create number two. All right. Just going to keep on punching. And these are going to go into item number one. Set that aside. Here. There's no way you can see all this at the same time. I actually had this messed up. This is going to go with item number three that we're making. That we'll be making on Sunday. So on Sunday, we will sit up there and we will make one of each. Let's see. Happy Holidays and go this one. And we will make an alternative. For you goes right here. So I just sort of sort them out by whatever we're going to do, right? I know I'm going to change things more than likely. I usually always do. And let's see where we're going to put these at. This one goes with, I can't, oh, card, T. 
tag number one. So the reason why I say card is because these are tags, right? But at the end of the day, oh, I still have a messed up. Hold on just a second. Number one. Okay, just like this. All right, there we go. All right, now I got it right. Happy holidays. I just sort of, like I said, sort my stuff together. All right, and then these little tags look like it's going to go. I thought, yes, number one. There we go. And I sort of lay them all out, even though I said I got those all different there. And then we have these little, look here. So you just, you're just punching everything out. That's all I ever do. And I'm already trying to see where these go. I don't see them right off the bat, even though I got all these pictures. So, I know it's got a hole punch to the top. So, if you see right there, that's already die cut with a hole punch to the top. So, there's, oh, there's actually a one that's tipped with red. Like I said, I'm not sure right off the cuff, just glancing at the picture where that's going. But I'm just going to set it aside, right? And I'm going to do the green ones as well. Because we know they're going to go somewhere. Everything goes somewhere, right? They don't put it in the box if it doesn't go somewhere. Or there's not somewhere I can't create an alternative. So I'll just keep on punching. Knowing that they're going to go somewhere. And I just sort of get my stuff organized if I can. Now, the reason why, if you see me live sometimes and it doesn't look like it's organized, it's because I've already rubbed, ram it, no, rummaged through the box, right? All right. Yes, because I know I'm going to create something alternative. All right, so this circle actually goes with the second card, or second tag, which is here. Well, let's keep on moving this down. This has got some very beautiful stuff in here. And you can see we also got other adhesive here. We got glue dots. We got some string. And oh, look at here. So see, these tags are already done. So all you're doing is punching out the tags. All right. So it looks like some of the tags I got out might be ones that we're going to stamp, right? More than likely. And then we have the candy canes. So this is on number two. Oh, number two. I'm just punching them all out. Now you can save this stuff. These are great stencils. If you want to come in, we make alternatives. These circles are great stencils. The candy canes are great stencils. And we can come back and do whatever we want to, right? And look at this glitter paper. It is already die cut for you. Hello, Lourdes. And look at this. Look how beautiful. You can't even get this to the regular stamping up products. This is just through the paper pumpkin kit. Because if they had it in the regular stamping up stuff, I would have gotten some. They didn't have it. Just here in the kit. So look how pretty this tag is going to be. Or if we make it into a card, it's going to be so beautiful. So sparkly. Right? Yeah, I know, right? It is super pretty. Oh my gosh. Sometimes they make things so pretty, you're like, can I really use it? Alright, so this is going to go right behind that when we go to create with this. It's a beautiful kit. I always sort of feel bad when people don't get the kit because it's like, you know, if you didn't subscribe by the 10th or order it by the 10th, you're not going to get it. And that was back on November the 10th. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The only thing you could hope is that they have refill kits and if you're a paper, you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin and get those refill kits if you want it. Even if it's, it doesn't matter. If you signed up today and there's a refill kit out there, you can get it. And look at these. See how sparkly? Oh my gosh. I do have some sparkly paper, not this color, but I bet you I'm going to cut some snowflakes out of it. Because look at them. Look how sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. And then, last but not least, we have these smaller snowflakes. And they're going to card number three. And look how dainty and pretty those are. So I'm just going to punch these out and they'll be ready. And that's all there is in the kit. This is it. Whoop, whoop. So not only can we make beautiful tags, we can make beautiful cards with this, right? Because we are still making kit cards for the kids in the hospital. So I will make some cards to show you. 
some alternatives and then I'll turn around and give them to the kids in the hospital. So here you go. Here's the items for card number three. Here are the items for card number two. I'm not sure these are going yet. And then here are the items for the card or tag number one. I'm just going to move these little tags aside because I'm right off the cuff. I can't tell where they go, but we know we're going to use them, right? They wouldn't be in the box if we weren't going to use them. So there you go. We have, tw yeah, 12. 12 tags we can make. Or we can make some tags and turn around and make some cards, right? Because I know I'll be sending some to the kids in the hospital to add to my collection of cards I've already been making. Because, right, it's all about creating sharing and giving and touching someone else's life and isn't that is there not a better way to touch someone's life if they're in the hospital or they're ill or whatever right just make their day so go out there create share and give and i look forward to seeing you next week with teach me nana bye